Hello, sixth graders. So I just wanted to go over the Google form from yesterday. So I just wanted to also emphasize as well that these questions are really important for you to read all of the directions. Um, if you just skim through the question and you don't actually read it, you'll get it incorrect because these are very, very specific questions that deal with the histogram. So you need to make sure that you're really reading those so that you can read the histogram correctly. So I will type in my name. So the question was, it says, each day for a month, Bo timed himself to see how many free throws he can make in 60 seconds. So these are the intervals that they came up with, okay? And you can see all of the interval lengths are the same, okay? When you're doing that, all the interval lengths are, they're called interval widths, okay? They need to be the same. So this one, you can see it jumps five. It goes from zero to four, okay? Five to nine. 10 to 14, okay, there's five numbers that could possibly go in each section, okay? So just make sure that when you are creating interval widths, they are all identical widths, all right? So this is free throws in 60 seconds is the X axis, and then number of days is the Y, and the title is just Bose free throw record, okay? So the first question, and what I also did, I just took a picture of this graph and moved it over here so I don't have to keep scrolling back and forth. I can just look to the side right here. Okay, so the first question says, how many days did Bo make a free throw zero to four times? So this is the interval zero to four times, okay, and it the bar goes up to six, so it's six times. How many days did Bo make a free throw five to nine times? So five to nine is this interval, it goes up to eight. And if you also see another little reminder with histograms, all of the bars are touching because it's continuous, okay? And again, zero to four, we don't start with four to nine here. We go right to five because interval widths also cannot have repeating numbers either. Just a little reminder for your quiz today. So how many days did Bo make a free throw 10 to 14 times? Again, go to this interval, okay? Go up. How many days between 10 and 11? 10 and 12, I'm sorry, it's 11. The next one, how many days did Bo make a free throw 15 to 19 times? So in this interval, you have five. How many days did Bo make a free throw zero to 14 times? So this one asks zero to 14. So you're, they're asking for three intervals. So if we add them together, okay, we have 11 plus eight, which is 19, 19 plus six, which is 25 total days. The next one, for more than half the month, Bo made more than 10 shots per day. So half of a month, okay, is around 15 days. So for more than 15 days, Bo made 10, more than 10 shots per day. So more than 10 shots is 10 through, 24 okay so it's these intervals right here so let's add them up we have 11 plus 5 which is 16 okay plus 1 which is 17 so i would say that's more than half the month so that is true the greatest number of shots made in 60 seconds was between 10 and 14. so this question a lot of people got wrong on the google form so it says the greatest number of shots made in 60 seconds. A lot of people said 10 to 14, okay? Because the bar is the highest. But that's not, we, you have to look at the title. It says free throws. So these are the number of shots. Is 10 to 14 the greatest number of shots he made? No, the greatest number of shots he made was 20 to 24. So even though this is the smallest bar, he made the greatest number of shots here from 20 to 24 because 20 making 24 shots in 60 seconds is way more than making 14 so that one is false that's a tricky one the next one it says Bo made less than 10 shots more often than he made more than 14 shots so less than 10 shots are these two intervals so that would be 6 plus 8 okay 6 plus 8 which is 14 Okay, so 
They're saying made less than he made less than 10 shots more often than he made more than 14 shots. So 14 is less than 10. What's more than 14? We have these two intervals. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So 14 is definitely a bigger number than 6. Okay, so that is true. The next one, Bo made 20 to 24 shots in 60 seconds three times. So 20 to 24 shots, they're saying they made it, he made it in three times. Well, this graph is only saying he made it once. So that is false as well. And then lastly, how many days did Bo practice all together? So these are the number of days. We have to add up all of these bars and see what we get. So if we add them all up, we have 6 for this interval, plus 8 for this interval, plus 11 for this interval, plus 5 for this interval, plus 1 for this interval. So there were 31 days in this month. Okay, so he practiced for 31 days. So if we submit view score, if it loads, we shall see. The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> Practice some graduation songs right now. All right, we got 100 out of 100, okay? So all of those were the answers to the Google form, okay? We do have a quiz today. Hopefully you're watching this video before you take the quiz so you can review some of the information. All right, good luck and have a wonderful day.